Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in Maya. Well, we're going to have some fun today. We're going to make a mattress and we're not going to do that completely manual. We're going to add something called pressure, which is kind of neat. And you can use that for a lot of things, but today we're going to be using it for uh, a mattress, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a simple uh, cube. We're going to hit R to scale that out and then pull that out like so until we have a rough outline of a mattress. And we're gonna keep it fairly thin uh, because we're gonna pressurize it, right? We're gonna hit insert edge loop. Let's do five or so. Let's do five here. That's good. Then we'll do 15 in this direction and we'll do 10 in this direction. And it's important that you have subdivision, otherwise it won't work, okay? Now, we got that going on. Now, you have the option to um, kind of make indented pits in the, the mattress, right? Or I don't know what they're called, indentations. You can do that. And uh, let's just uh, demonstrate how that works, right? So first, what we need to do is we need to turn this one into an end cloth object. So we got it selected. Go to your FX menu. Go up here to end cloth and create end cloth. All right. Don't worry about the green, that's just a material connection that's lost. So if you go to object mode and you assign a new material and you grab any old material, it's back to gray, right? Okay, so now it's an end cloth object. Now, what we need to do is grab a number of vertices that we want to manipulate, right? So let's go to the top here and go to vertex. So just for illustration purposes, I'll just grab a few, right? So one here, we'll do one here, one here, and one there, all right? And we just have the top, so be aware of that. Now we're gonna hit W, we're gonna push this down. Now these, I want these to not inflate, right? So I can push them down, but they will still be blown out. So what I'm gonna do next is with these four selected is I'm gonna to go to end constraint and transform constraint, all right? So now if I select this guy and I go down here and set my animation slider to let's say 100 and I go to my nucleus, open up the attribute editor, set the gravity to zero, otherwise it will fall off my screen. And then we're going to go to the end cloth object and we're going to go to the pressure tab and I'm going to set that to eight. Still nothing happening, but if we hit play on the keyboard, you get something flopping out like that. Now the pressure is way too high to hold that indentation that I created, right? So let's tweak that. Let's go way lower. Let's set to, to 0.4. Stop, play back, recache, hit play, right? Now you can imagine those indentations, right? You can see them a little bit. Anyway, we're gonna have this bounce around for a second. Let's say this is the ultimate shape that we want, all right? Let's turn off the grid here. What you can do from here is you can go in here and create a piping. So we're gonna get an edge, we're gonna double click Double click, hold on shift, work your way around. Like so, then we're gonna bevel. Don't worry about that. We're gonna do 0 0.1, maybe a bit more, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 is good. All right, 0 0.3, then we're gonna go in here, go to face mode, click and shift double click. All the way around do the same here shift and shift double click we're gonna hit extrude don't worry about it 0 0.1 which is good and then we're gonna right click in object mode and hit 3 to preview smooth and you'll get something hang on looking like this now I'll make the uh, animation slider a bit longer so it can settle Hit stop, jump back to frame one, hit play. 
Now let's say this is the shape that I'm happy with, right? And again, you see these little indentations, you can do a lot of them, you can make them deeper, you can do all of that, but just so you know that it actually works, right? Now, once you're happy with this thing, you can uh, kind of break the simulation. So I can scrub around if I don't like one shape, but I do like the other one, I can do that. Once I find the one that I'm happy with, what I can do, let's say it's this one, is select it, go up here to edit, delete by type and history. And now I can hit play all I want and nothing will change, right? So we get this guy. Now, um, yeah, that's how you can use pressure. Uh, that was kind of the point of this video, right? So it's a very easy way to make pillows, to make uh, couch pillows, uh, bed mattresses, um, any type of thing that's inflated. Even if you want to simply create, uh, I don't know, like an inflated cube, you can do that. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, short little video. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it as well, right? Thank you for checking out the video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.